you can say uh, I felt like Tyler Noah Hufunga sealed the deal. It's the name of the show. Uh, he was able to go out there and seal the deal. Uh, if you if you had to pick a person on defense, though, who is your guy on defense? Let's do unsung heroes. I forgot mm. about that segment. Unsung heroes. If you had to pick a person that's not a typically a star, who is your guy defensively and offensively? That's kind of that's kind of hard. I feel like it was a really good collected effort on defense. Okay. But you know what? I'm going to just go completely outside the box because I was real worried. And I don't know if he made a ton of major plays, but a Menahue. I was worried. I was like, oh, my God, a Menahue. No, like this is, oh, man, this don't look right. Like, man, hopefully this isn't like a, when I was watching it, I was like, man, this could be a bad injury. And then I see him over on the sideline and I believe, I'm pretty – I'm trying to remember it all right. I'm like, okay, maybe it was just a cramp. I'm like, oh, man, hey, hey, cramps ain't no joke when it happens, you, you know. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. And then I'm pretty sure he came back and made a play. I'm just trying to really – you know, there's so many plays, and especially when you're on live and whatnot. It's, you know, I'm trying Listen, to I'm, – if, if, if you want to know how that interception happened, that was a minute of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yep, – so, the, the thing that impressed me about Amenehu before the cramp was there was a play the 49ers didn't get home and on, right? And then the, the Chargers thought they were slick and ran no huddle, which means the 49ers weren't able to sub. And on that mm-hmm. next play, Amenehu was – they had he had no double team. That motherfucker got to the quarterback and caused something to happen. I don't remember him getting a sack, but he definitely caused something to happen. So yeah, listen, yeah. Amenehu – for me, would have been my unsung hero on defense as well. So I'm glad we agree. Give me your offensive unsung hero. Man, it's got to be Elijah Mitchell, man. But it's like okay. I like to I like to go outside the box too. You know, I like to really just you know sometimes pick someone that maybe someone might not have. You know, man, I got a few names in my head. I'm thinking about Jimmy. I'm thinking about Jawan Jennings, and uh, you know, so I'll just kind of throw all three of those players in the same box. You okay. know, kind of. I could dig it. If I had to pick from one of your three players, Elijah Mitchell, Jimmy, or Jawan Jennings, I'm going with Jawan Jennings, man. This is a guy that's kind of like been forgotten, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he was he coming off the injury as well. I always said Jawan Jennings was the third down guy, though. That like Because he's a big-ass target, and you just throw it to him, and he's not a yak guy. He's not a yak guy. I saw it yesterday. He don't have yak speed. But I tell you what, man, he's a tough mother sucker. He's probably the best blocking wide, second best blocking wide receiver. I think the 49ers have. I still think the, uh, Brandon Ayuk's the best blocking. But he's a great guy. And Kyle Shanahan is lucky to continue, you know, have this guy because if he doesn't catch that third down, 